All right, welcome back. My name is James from founder of radio.co. This video, we're going to look at the settings. Uh, by now, you should have your station up and running. You should have found out how to upload media, how to create playlists, how to manage your media, invite DJs, broadcast live, how to get listeners connected, how to track your listeners, all that good stuff. And there are more videos to this series. What I wanted to do is kind of wrap up the basics with just talking about our settings. We're going to go over things like Radio.co Talk um, and the song request feature in the kind of more advanced videos, which you'll see uh, further down the page, if you like. Um, but this is really wrapping up the kind of the fundamentals that you need to know to broadcast and use the Radio.co platform uh, to a kind of expert level. So if you head down onto your settings section, you'll see uh, we have various different tabs along the top here. I'm just going to run through these one at a time. Uh, this first page, I recommend you fill all this out. Um, you'll see throughout this tutorials, this radio customer thing has been here. This is your station name. We've just gone for something generic, but you might want to go for something like, you know, James FM, whatever you want to call your station. Uh, next up, the logo. And as you can see down here, it recommends that you upload a, a logo in a square format, although it's shown as a circle. Um, you know, some sources and the players and things will need a square. So 512 by 512 pixels is our recommended size and you know you can design this however you like i've just got our logo here moving down the station there's various different options some of this is required for directory listings and that kind of thing um your station website your genre you can easily just type you know in this if you want to quickly find what you is you're playing write a description keywords uh language okay city time zone this is quite important because um the the schedule that you view or, or the calendar will be set to this time zone you can have other djs with different time zones and it will adjust accordingly this is your time zone that you are in it's very important that you set that and finally the country uh, we've got some links down here which will show you how to get listed on different directories those tutorials are also available on our youtube all right moving along we've got our broadcast tab you can see here there's default cross fade length this will uh, choose the the amount of time that you want to to fade between songs we generally recommend between sort of two to five seconds anything less and you don't really get much of an effect anything more it kind of sounds it can sound a little bit weird unless maybe you're playing like slow love songs or something um but yeah it's generally two three four seconds is, is kind of what we go for you can enable volume normalization this will just uh, help crunch down your track slightly uh, apply a little bit of dynamic compression and that kind of thing um this feature is in beta. Generally speaking, these days with modern music, because it's kind of compressed to heck anyway, we don't tend to enable that for most of our radio stations. It's up to you if you enable that. Live anytime. This just basically controls whether or not you want to be able to connect and broadcast at any time. Uh, you, as the admin or the station owner, has that privilege. Your DJs will never have that privilege. They'll only ever be able to broadcast live when they are actually connected. Um, to a scheduled event, which I've been over in a previous video. Finally, we have audio stream quality. This basically controls the format and the bit rate of your stream. We default this to MP3 format because it's still most widely compatible. Some people prefer to use AAC. To be honest, with these days, AAC is not too far behind MP3 in terms of its compatibility. M both of these formats will really work nowadays on the majority of browsers. Um, I think a few years ago when we first launched Radio.co, AAC still wasn't supported in some browsers, but generally speaking, AAC is a superior codec to MP3, uh, as I'm sure you'll know. You can adjust the bit rate. Um, really, we don't recommend going below kind of well, 128K is, is kind of our recommended, which is the default. You can go up to 192K. As you'll see here, if you want, uh, if you're kind of an audio file and you want really high end sound, you can actually go right up to 320K on our pro plan. If you have a, a bronze package or above, you'll also be able to enable the mobile streaming. Um, I recommend you do this. Again, this just basically produces a second stream link. This links in with our mobile apps. It also links in with our players. And this will basically default to uh, AAC and um, you know a slightly lower quality stream. Security by default, all of our network is very secure, DDoS protected, and you know regularly updated and maintained. However, these 
security features relate to your individual stream. So what you can do is you can enable, say, a ban list. This will allow you to ban specific IPs. If you say you have a connection that keeps coming back and you don't know who they are or you think it's a bot, you can ban them. Ripper protection, this is great just for sort of disabling a lot of the stream rippers. Um, again, not really too much of a problem these days, but does still happen. Geo protection, this is mo probably the most important feature on this section. Um, if your license, uh, if you're paying royalties in a certain country and maybe certain countries are included, some are forbidden, you can really granularly control exactly which countries you want to allow or block. So if I wanted to say, you know, only allow connections from the UK, US or Canada, uh, I could just add those in here okay alternatively if i want to block connections maybe there's certain countries which are not covered by your royalties you can just add these in here so there's two ways of, of approaching this system moving on to the advanced tab we have our ftp details here which i covered in an earlier tutorial talking about how you can upload files in bulk um, one thing I'll just draw your attention to is the generate button here. Say your FTP stops working or for one whatever reason you can't connect. If you hit this generate button, it will actually create a new password for your FTP, um, which basically will allow you to uh, connect again. So it's a good little troubleshooting tip there. Finally, requests, uh, album separation, artist separation. Let's kind of quickly cover off these. Requests, I'm not going to talk about now. I'm going to be going into that in a separate video, but it allows you to create a request widget that you embed on your website and allows listeners to request songs, which is really cool. So you can have an automated request show. All right, so now I want to talk about artist and album separation rules. Now, basically what these allow you to do is create an even sounding format for your radio station. The settings for both of these are the same. Um, I'm going to focus on artist separation today. Now, as you can see, I've already pre-populated this with a couple of settings. Duration in minutes, I can change this to any amount I want. So this is currently set to 60, and what that means is I don't want the same artist to be played more than once every single hour. Obviously, you need to bear in mind that you need enough tracks and to make sure that you've got enough content to allow this. We have seen clients many, many times before enable these settings and then wonder why their station's not playing anything because, you know, they've not got enough tracks in the media library. So I would suggest that you don't turn these on until you've got at least a few hundred tracks in your media library. And, you know, again, you can adjust this down if you maybe want something not to repeat every half an hour. You can say it's set that to 30 or 45 or whatever it is you want. Um, the next is the allowed tags option. If you have, say, jingles, and maybe you've only got 10 jingles, and they've probably got the same artist, which might be your radio station name, the problem is, if you enable this, it will stop your jingles from playing. So you, this is a kind of a, a, a bypass to this rule. So you can add anything you want in here. Again, you know, I've just added my jingles in. You might want to add other certain playlists, or, you know, if you've got, a, say, if you're running a special show, which is just play Coldplay for an hour, you probably want to add that tag here, because you might run into problems with that. Be very careful with these rules. They can cause issues and, um, you know, don't really enable them unless you know what you're doing and you're 100% sure they actually need them. But they can be very, very powerful and useful in creating an even balanced format. Next up, integrations. I'll just quickly go over these. Uh, we've kind of covered these off in separate tutorials. Um, Twitter, this allows you to post your currently playing song to Twitter every now and again. This is an integration with TuneIn, the radio directory, which will update TuneIn with the song that's playing. And finally, we have Mixcloud integration, which allows you to publish your recorded shows and uh, you know, uploaded media files directly to the Mixcloud platform, which is great for on-demand listening. Finally, then, in our billing section, we can control the plan that we're currently on. We can easily upgrade. If I click Change Plan, we can easily upgrade, downgrade. We can switch to annual billing if we just want to pay once a year instead of monthly. Obviously, we see the plan details are on and the costs and everything. There are no hidden fees or anything like that here at Radio.co. Everything is very transparent. Finally, you can view your payment method here and you can update your billing address if you want to add uh, this in. If you have issues with your credit card not going through, because sometimes it could be because you haven't filled out your billing information. Finally, you can switch either to PayPal or you can add new card information if perhaps your card's expired or you want to us to build a different card. And you'll also see your payment history here. You'll be able to view a receipt and view an invoice and print those out if you need them for your records. And finally, cancel account if you want to do that. Well, I'm assuming that you won't want to do that. You want to stay with Radio.co. All right, so that concludes this Getting Started series.
by now, you'll have your station up and running. And, uh, you know, last off really is just covering a few settings and options here. So in the next few videos, we'll be covering more advanced functionality, stuff like the request feature, how to schedule relays, talking about Alexa skills, iPhone apps, and all that kind of thing. Thanks very much for watching this video series. My name is James Mulvaney, and I'm founder at Radio.co, and I hope you have a fantastic day.